how to increase your income and profits when it comes to mining cryptocurrency. Actually, there are two different ways. The first option is to reduce your uh, power cost, find cheap electricity to reduce that bill. And the second option is to increase your hash rate, uh, which we refer to as overclocking your ASIC miner. And in today's video, we're gonna be uh, introducing a way to increase your hash rate uh, through a hardware, not a software. My name is Marco and you're watching Crypto Mining Lab. What's up guys, welcome to another video. As I mentioned earlier, in today's video we're going to be talking about overclocking in S19 using the, the hardware the hardware which is a second control board which will be connected to the original uh, control board. All right, so let, let me just give you a quick look where you get out of the box when purchasing one of these uh, control board. So let's go ahead and just open it. First of all, what we have here is the data cables. We have seven uh, hash for the data cables for the hash boards, as well as the uh, another data cable that goes from the control board to the, uh, the power supply itself. This is the first one. So like, as you can see, we have seven data cables for the hash boards. And I will show you guys in a moment how to how to connect these. And this one is for, goes from the control board to the uh, power supply. And the second thing we got here is the, uh, the control board itself. Let's just give you a quick look. So here we have the, uh, the actual uh, extra overclocking uh, control board. As you can see here, we have three, po uh, four ports for data cables. So this is the entry. So basically the cables came, will come from the original control board to this side of the, of this board. And then from here it goes to the, uh, to the hash boards. And as you can see here, we have these small knobs that gives you the uh, ability to change your hash rate depends on what settings so this these are switches so you can flip between off and on uh, you have eight eight or nine of them and actually this comes with a user manual so th there are presets depends on the position of these knobs that will give you determine how much uh, hash rate you want to push depends on the model if it's in a if just in s19 and s19 series or you know the S19 Pro. Just remember, these ports don't work on the J uh, series. So just keep in mind that. And what you get also from there is the. Uh, before that, just just give me a quick look on the bottom of the uh, control board itself. So it has a, this plastic covering, just to avoid any you know. Uh, since this one will go on the top of the miner, so uh, you, you, there is no way you can mount it. So they put a protection here, a plastic protection, just to just to avoid any uh, uh, short circuit. And the other thing you get here is the these are fan simulators or spoofers. So and these are actually good if you're gonna go immersion immersion cooling so if you go in immersion cooling obviously you need to to disable your fans and you have to remove them from 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 your your ASIC miner and in order to do that you have you need these uh, fan spoofers or simulators or emulators or to to avoid any uh, uh, any problem with the uh, fan error but if you're gonna keep your uh, ASIC miner running on air-to-air -air cooling then these are not needed so now just let me give you a quick look on how to install this so basically the original the original hash board uh, the control board from the S19 series has actually four ports for uh, for that da uh, data cables but the S19 series all use Three hash boards, so there's an empty one, but you have to connect it uh, either ways. 
So we go ahead and connect all the four, uh, four data cables that to this side. So these four cables from this side will go to the uh, original and uh, the stock uh, control board from the S19. So this side goes to the uh, to the original control board and from this side we these cables will go to the uh, to the hash board so this is how we connect these and not, do not forget so the cable from from the uh, original original control uh, control board will come into this side and then from here we connect this one We connect this side to that goes to the uh, to the power supply. 